Hi, Arrow. It's Todd. Hey, how are you doing today, Todd? I'm great. You have a great name, by the way. I love your name. Oh, it's one of those names. I was sitting in Lewistown, Montana, and I'm going, well, we got to create a character for a story. And and I shouted out, how about Arrow? But let's do it with an E instead of a W. And and at that point in time, it, it stuck. And I was like, okay, I, I like this. Now, can I put it into my radio career? Because there's there are no arrows out there. So, but man, yeah. you, you put it into one of your stories, mister, because you you love to really create high energy, fun animation. I do. I love high energy. I love high energy, high energy fun. I do. <laughs> you know what I love about Monster High is the fact it reminds me so much of the days when we had albums, when it would finish and you would say, do it again. I want to hear it again. And I, that's what I love about your stories is the fact that I want to see it again and again and again. Love that. I love that from your lips to God's ears. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I think we try to make everything. I mean, it's a loving universe. It's a loving world. You get to hang out with cool people and you add this and it's great tunes. So um, I think it's, and it's a thrilling adventure. So I, to me, it's a win-win. I love family entertainment for this reason. You get to do comedy, drama, yep. high stakes, you know, you get to have goofy fun, scary fun you get to have a lot of fun and the animation is mind-blowing i don't know how you make those characters so human-like because it's like wow it, what, did they do the actors and then they put the paint on them what why does it why does it look so real well you know our show is live action so we are we, we are we are painting humans, absolutely. It, it, our show isn't animated, just so you know. Um, it's live action, and so that was the challenge of Monster High for the first time, yeah. was there's an animated franchise that launched just after the movie, and we were the first live action uh, version of Monster High, and there's the dolls, of course. And so, you know, we, the actors, it's a grueling movie for the actors on many levels. They spend five hours in hair and makeup, three and a half yep. hours to put it on, an hour and a half to take it off. So, and then they're shooting an you know, eight to 12 hour day, depending on what their work is. So it takes a lot of grit to make this world look that pretty. Yeah, see, and, and the way that I was using anim animated was the way that, that the, the bodies, the facial expressions, the way that people move on on the, the you know, the, the way with the actors and things. And because, I mean, it's so, you know, I, I just love the way that there's always something moving and, and it takes you someplace. Well, it's a, it's a fast movie. We have 88 minutes. Yep. So the fact that it's always moving kind of is partly the necessity of trying to tell a big story in 88 minutes, which is shorter than an average movie um, by, by a little bit. An average family movie is usually 90, which is close. So, you know, we got to keep things moving and we have a lot of story to tell and our kids are young and they're lively. And so there's a lot, I mean, I've burst into song musicals, you know, every, every, so, every so and so minutes, yep. you know, so there's a lot going on. You know, as a mobile DJ, I get to perform it at elementary schools and middle schools, and I, I always think it's fascinating that how they come up and they request songs that they've seen in the Monster High movies, it, it, because it's, it's just, it's like, how did you find this song already? But it's because Halloween to you is the entire month. Yeah, yeah, I love that story. I love the kids are requesting our songs. Are they requesting songs from Monster High 2, you said? Not already? yet. Well, not yet, but, I, but I'll but i tell you what, because my my next party at over here at Socrates is going is going to be in the next couple of weeks after you've already started. So, yes, I'm going to have to prepare for it because they're going to see it starting October 5th. Yeah, so October 5th, 7 p.m. Eastern Pacific on Nickelodeon and Paramount+. Yes, yeah. and, th and those so, students are going to want it. Yeah, good. Well, we got we got five. We got I'm sorry, like ten new tracks. <laughs> five are on screen performance uh, moments, um, and the other four are tracks that you hear in the background. But they're all great. Um, our cast performs even some of the background tracks. A few of them. Um, the whole musical side of this project is amazing and that you know we write the script figure out what story the songs are we need to carry and then we create a little songwriters brief where we yeah. say here's what it needs to here's what the song needs to express here's where everybody is emotionally at this point in the movie here are examples of pop songs we think this might sound like and then 10 days later we get like demos back, incredibly polished demos back from songwriters. We have like five choices in every song slot. And we have to go through and weed out them, you know, hone down to the ones we love that are in the movie. And then we have sort of the second place finishers that we try to use as well because they're all so good. Yeah, see, it's all part of that connection that you bring on that screen. And you've got a new character this in this particular story, Monster High 2, Tora Lai. 
Coralie Stripe. Yeah, she's a fan favorite. She is, um, she's a werecat. She's Claudine's kind of natural adversary because they're both were creatures. <laughs> Claudine's a were, you know, and so, uh, and Coralie's old school. She believes monsters first. She believes that, um, she believes that some of the inclusion that Coralie manifested in Monster High 1 is not best for the safety and security of monsters. The reason Monster High was created because was monsters weren't safe in the human world. So Toro like really pushes up against why a half monster, half human would be welcomed at Monster High. Why are we doubting what we've always been? So Claudine's gonna face some some ideological challenges in this. Wow. Monster High 2, October 5th, Paramount Plus, Nickelodeon. Dude, you've got the right ingredients to get, you know, to put us in the spirit of Halloween. Ah, thank you so much, Errol. Thank you so much. And happy Halloween to Same you, and, to your, you. and your listener. You be brilliant today, okay? Yeah, I, I will do my best. You too, sir. Thank you so much. I love that. I love that. Okay.